Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for June. I hope you guys are all well. I wanna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Taurus, so be sure to check your other signs and placements and see if those readings have your message if this one's not resonating. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop, so get in where you fit in. And as always, Taurus, please don't try to force a reading. That is simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Taurus? Taurus. All right, Taurus, you are starting out with the death card. You have the eight of pentacles reversed. And coming out together, we have the Five of Pentacles along with the Page of Cups. So something here is ending in your life. It's um, something that is fading away, something that wasn't working out. Um, I do feel like there were some details that you missed with regard to this, and that may have led to this ending. I am also seeing that you may have a new beginning with somebody here that you either felt left you out in the cold or you left them out in the cold. There's a reunion here. It's like a resurgence of the of the love in this connection, some kind of a new beginning. Um, there could be an apology involved for some of you. Let's see who's in your energy. Show me who is in Taurus energy. Show me who's, thank you. All right, the person in your energy has the Queen of Wands in the reverse. That is the... Fire sign energy, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so the person that's in your energy, I feel like this person is, uh, they tried to walk away from this connection, but they found that they were still emotionally attached. I don't see them taking any action towards you at this point, but this person is open to, you know, things turning in a more positive way. This person is experiencing good karma as well with this Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Let's see the energy between the two of you. Show me the energy between these two. All right, so I can tell you now, you see the, both of you see this differently. Nine of Swords in the reverse, Four of Cups reversed. So this person feels like there is a divine love here. Um, they're afraid that this is going to become a missed opportunity. For you, I feel like you've been going through something here with this Nine of Swords in the reverse. And you feel like this if the, you come back into connection with this person, that it's going to relieve that anxiety, those worries and concerns. I can see that you have been, you know, kind of sitting up at night, worried, upset. There's been tears. Um, and meanwhile, this person... This person may feel that there was some third-party energy that was here, but this person is looking at the divinity of the connection. Um, but they're afraid that it's going to be a missed opportunity. Let's see what's affecting the connection. This is somebody you had an ending with, Taurus. All right, the high priestess. There could be secrets here. I do feel like you're both trying to look, uh, use your intuition as to what to do with regard to this connection. Um, let me see. Some of you could be seeking advice from a spiritual leader, um, even a tarot reader or a psychic, perhaps a minister for a sword. So there's healing that's coming in here. There's been a period here where there was a lack of communication, um, you both kind of pulled back, but I see things moving in a more positive direction. So this looks really good. All right, bottom of the deck is judgment in reverse. This is underlying energy, and it does show me that there has been difficulty with bringing this connection back together. It also shows me that somebody may have made a very poor judgment call here. So let's see, let's clarify. Spirit, why is the death card here for Taurus? Ah, so it was you. All right, so you ended things with this person. We have the world, and we have the five of pentacles. Yeah, so for a lot of you, you were the one who ended this connection. I feel like um, 
when you ended this, you didn't think it was going to affect you as deeply as it has, but you've definitely been feeling this loss. Some of you might be experiencing some financial loss as well, um, but I do see that, that that loss is coming back to you. There's a need for you to really focus on work. There was some kind of deception involved with this ending in some way. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Queen of Swords. And the Seven of Cups reverse. So, yeah, I feel like there's some things in your life here, Taurus, that's not working out. And so you... you Feel like you might be out of options here but you don't want to say so i'm also seeing that you're open to conversation with this person but i'm also seeing that you know you can be kind of cutting with your energy so if you don't like what it is that they're saying you may cut them out um but i definitely feel like you you have felt a loss of this connection your boundaries are up you're you're a bit defensive but I do feel like you're trying to approach things from an honest perspective. Let's look at the... And you are open to, to talking with this person. Show me the bottom energy for Taurus. All right, we have the Ace of Cups reversed, Page of Wands, and the Ten of Coins reversed. All right, so there is a spark here. There is a spark here um, after this ending. You felt this ending pretty intensely. Um, I can see that the ending of this, it may have even affected your finances in some way. With this page of wands here, there could be some immature communication that is taking place. And I do feel like um, either to you or from you, um, there could be an apology involved with that, but there is definitely a spark here. There's still passion. There's still love. And I do feel like you you definitely are wanting to end this period of isolation. You may be feeling abandoned or rejected by this person. And I do feel like you're, you want to end that. You want to bring this person back in. So let's see their energy. Spirit, show me why is the Queen of Wands here. The Empress in reverse and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person has love for you as well. I do feel that, um, I do feel like this person hasn't been nurturing the relationship. They've, they haven't been lifting a finger. Um, what I'm seeing is that they are very focused on you, but they're hoping that you're going to bring this cup of love in their direction. They definitely have feelings for you, but I do get the sense that this person feels that they've been disrespected in some manner. Um, and I do feel that this person um, is not giving to the connection at this point. They're not nurturing it. And it's because they feel disrespected and they're nursing a broken heart. Let's see why the Eight of Cups is in reverse. See, during this time apart, this person's been looking at the details of this connection. All right, we have Temperance and the Knight of Wands. So they're going to communicate with you. I do feel like this is somebody that is coming back around into your energy. They want to heal this connection. This person is also very well balanced at this point. They could have had some sort of a spiritual awakening um, or they could feel guided towards this connection. And this is something they're probably not telling you, but they may later, at a later date. They're still emotionally attached to the connection, but they may feel that you've been a bit of a player here. Um, let's see why the, the Wheel of Fortune is here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? All right, we have the... Eight of Swords, and we have the Lovers. This person feels you're a soulmate, but they're also worried that you have a choice between two people, and they're worried about what you're going to do. So if you're the cross watcher, um, this is moving in your favor, regardless of what this person chooses or doesn't. It, it's moving in your favor. It's working out in your best interest. But I can see that this person um, 
they're worried. They're worried about, you know, what kind of a choice is going to be made here. All right, so let's see the energy between the two of you. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have that Judgment card in reverse again. That's in your underlying energy. So it looks as if there was a poor judgment call made here. We also have Justice in reverse, Sign of Libra. Gemini is here. Sagittarius is here. Um, you're both, it looks like you're both single. Um, I am seeing that there's this very single energy you both have. Um, I am also seeing that you did make a poor judgment call. You may not be showing that to this person, but there's a the poor judgment call was the ending of this connection. It was leaving this person out in the cold. Or and and I do feel like you're the one who who called for the ending of the connection. Um, and I feel like you're kind of presenting to this person that you're not worried about that. Uh, you have a very single, very independent nature. This person does too, though, and they feel wronged. They feel wrong. They feel like either you didn't nurture the relationship or they're waiting for you to offer love to them. I don't see them taking action towards you because this person feels very disrespected with this empress in reverse. Um, they do feel that they are your person, that the two of you are soulmates, um, and this is the divine film in reverse. So let's see. They feel wronged in this connection. Why is the high priestess here? And I'm not saying you did. I'm just saying that's what this person is feeling. That's that's how they feel. All right. So why is the high priestess here? Yeah, you're going to communicate with them. That communication is going to bring about a sudden change. This may have already happened for some of you, or it is it is uh, going to. But there's a sudden change that's going to occur in this relationship. You're intuitively moving towards them. If you live at a distance, you'll travel to see them. If um, if not, that's that's communication, and it's communication that's very quick. So, and for whatever reason it feels as if there you don't have a choice like you you're out of options or something and so you're going to approach them in a rather guarded manner however your intuition is guiding you to to talk to them to bring about this sudden change now in their energy there's they're going to be receptive to that cuz with the 8 of cups in reverse they're still emotionally attached and they want to heal the connection that being said, they may be viewing you as a bit of a player. They will they will communicate back with you, but their intuition is guiding them not to invest too heavily. Don't not to be hasty in in their investment in this connection because they feel that they got burned in the past. All right, so let's look at the outcome. You're both very intuitive though. I do feel like there's a sense of secrets, like um, neither of you really are aware of what the other has been going through. We have the Four of Swords reversed. We have the Tower in reverse. And we have the Ace of Wands. So you guys had a break um, and it was a tower moment for both of you. I see that being repaired. And I see you actually, Taurus, being the one to bring about the healing in this connection. Uh, there's an ending here that that um, with this person, and now you want to reunite this, and the, the, it's a beginning. It's like there's been a beginning. At the point that you decided to reach out to communicate or to travel and see this person, um, you were very defensive, but I see your energy being renewed. There's that spark that's still there, and I do feel that you want to heal this connection. I also see you doing a lot of healing. Um, and there's a desire to repair the damage that was done. Now, a tower comes about when the foundation is not um, firm. So this connection was set up on a faulty foundation. And now you want to rebuild this. And they do too. So it's it'll be rebuilt on, as long as there's communication, it'll be rebuilt on a solid foundation. 
I do see that there is a new beginning that's coming in. Um, this person's been very worried because like I said, there seems to have been a choice that was going to be made. I do see it moving in this person's favor. I see it being sealed with a sexual union. And I do feel that this person is extremely passionate about you. Um, they just feel that they've been burned. But they also want to repair this and to rebuild this connection. Bottom of the deck is the Hermit. And that is Virgo energy. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. I see Scorpio here as well. Um, Libra. Let's see. Uh, Gemini. I think we went through those. But in, as an underlying energy, this tells me that you're soul searching, that you and likely this person as well, you're trying to discover what led up to this poor judgment call. You're, you're both trying to find answers, and it's a good energy. It's a solitary energy, though, and, you know, it's an energy of trying to figure things out. So this actually looks really good, Taurus. Let me see if there's any advice for you. Advice for Taurus. Oh, it says success. You are worthy of this success. Allow these feelings of accomplishment to fill you with contentment and self-satisfaction in your achievement. So there's success written all over this. Yeah, go forward, Taurus. Nicely done. All right, I hope that this is helpful to you. If you've resonated with this reading, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your next reading, namaste.